Meet the Bagman, a guide to buying college football players. Football and religion are two sides of the same coin in the SEC. And in the SEC, that coin is carried by the Bagman. Here's your ball game, Nick Marshall. A fan that believes he's leveraging football success, $500 or $50,000 at a time. A college football bagman can draw attention to himself, but never important. He will never be famous or be the annoying rich guy hovering next to the coach right after a big game. Bagmen operate in clandestine spots, like the Waffle House. They talk in person as much as possible and stay out of the public eye. Like drug dealers, they carry lots of burners. They don't have an FDIC-insured bank account, but a pool of money can be accessed quickly for things like large single sums to convince a recruit to sign or maintenance payments to current players. Bagmen live close to campus, so they can meet up with their players to give them frequent payments of $200 to $500. It's also easy to get used mid-range SUVs for players. The way they see it, if you can help the team win games on the field, and also help a struggling family out, then why not? It's called the SEC for a reason. It's about straight earning cash.